friends. Today I'm going to be giving you an update on my bachelorette party budget because I did get back from the bachelorette party. I've finally paid back everyone that I needed to pay back. So now I'm ready to go through and show you what I actually spent on this trip. Okay, so first things first, we'll go through and if I have any set, set amount of things that I paid for, I'll go ahead and plug that in here. So for example, flights ended up costing me $0 because I used a flight credit and lodging ended up costing me $150 flat for the maid of honor. Um, and then for the rest of them, I'll go ahead and list out the itemized things here and then we'll go over here and we'll add them up in the total. So, so we'll put Lauren's bachelorette party okay so we have flights and lodging next thing we're going to do is gifts so I sent the maid of honor money for lingerie and then I ended up buying my own set of lingerie for the bride and I sent the maid of honor $40 for a combined gift and then I spent $69 on my own gift. So in total, we spent $109 on gifts, which was my own fault because I went overboard, <laughs> but it's fine. So that's gonna be our easiest category. The next is entertainment. I'm actually gonna break them all out so I can do them as I go. So I have entertainment, food, alcohol, transportation, and miscellaneous. Let's do Okay, so I did all of this before my trip. I paid for the lingerie before I left, and then I went on the trip, and I um, left on Friday. So on Friday, I spent some money in the airport, So, and that was on food. So I'm gonna say Friday airport, and I spent $8 there. And I also did a um, Friday airport mimosa. Actually, I'll put that under alcohol. And y'all are going to die, but I spent $23. Granted, I did tip very well, but still, it's a lot. <laughs> and then the next thing I paid for when I got there was um, my friend and I went by a liquor store and I bought some seltzers for the weekend. So, some hard seltzers. So I spent $9 on that. I'm going to kind of put it over here. And then we went to lunch. So we did Friday lunch which was kind of food and alcohol, but that's fine. We spent $46 on that. We did a nice lunch. And then for the rest of Friday, we just went to the Airbnb and just hung out that day. So I really don't have any other um, charges for Friday at all, I think. Yeah. Well, the only other thing is we did pay the maid of honor um, for the groceries she bought. So I'll go ahead and put that in here since we used those that evening for dinner. We each paid her $30 for the groceries that she prepared, that she brought and had at the Airbnb for us. So that was it for Friday. And then for Saturday, we woke up and we did brunch at the Airbnb. So that was included in the groceries. And then we went to some wineries. So I'm going to put um, the wineries under entertainment since that was like kind of our like fun going out and entertainment thing. So at our first winery, um, the maid of honor paid and we ended up Venmoing her on the back end and that was $24 for that tasting. And then we went to a second winery and at that one, I spent a total of $45. I split a bottle of Prosecco with somebody. I've got like some lunch and, um, paid for the maid of honors like lunch for that too. So I just covered that cost since she covered a lot of the decorating costs and things. So that was it for the second winery. And then we went to a third winery, which was $31. And at that one, I got like some, like a round of drinks for people. They got a round of drinks for me back. So it just kind of evened out there. And then we went to dinner where I spent, oh wait, that's not entertainment. I spent $17 on that dinner. And then on Saturday, we also went to a bar and got drinks. And for that, I spent $31 between drinks and like shots and things. And then that was it for Saturday. And then for Sunday, we all went to brunch, which for me included some mimosas as well. I should put Sunday 
Sunday brunch, which was $68. It was kind of a nice place. And I got a mimosa, so there's that. And then I got some snacks at the airport, which was $11. And that should be everything. So I ended up spending nothing on transportation and really nothing in miscellaneous, honestly. Um, I guess I could count miscellaneous in some other categories, but basically I'll just move that money into somewhere else. But for entertainment, let's add all this up. Wow, we spent exactly $100. That's really funny. Yeah, exactly $100. For food, let's see how much we spent. We spent 180 on food. We ate out a lot more than I thought we would. And then for alcohol, we spent $63. So let's see how much we get spent in total for the weekend. So we spent $602 in total for this trip and the budget was 700 if we had budgeted for flights. So 700 without flights would have been 450 so I only but I only budgeted 450 and I spent 602. And then if we subtract out the 150, I technically only budgeted $300 and I spent 452. So those are the that, those are the numbers that I'm going to go with. So we spent 452 on these things that I hadn't already paid for. And now what I need to do is go back through and figure out how I'm going to pay for that because I only, like I said, I only budgeted, or how much I have left in my budget is 300. So I'll put actual, make sure you can see this, and then budget is 300. So let's go make the numbers make sense. Inside of big blue, we have the bachelorette party in here. So inside entertainment, we have $90. So that will almost cover the entertainment costs that we had. Gift, I already pulled out the $40. So we have paid for this. We have not paid for that 69. And then here we have paid for 90. Alcohol, we had 50, so we've paid for 50. Inside of food, we have 70. And then we have some money that we can put other places because we didn't need our miscellaneous or our transportation money. So now all of our categories for the bachelorette party are empty. And we are all done with this folder. So now we have an additional $50 that we can put somewhere. So let's put $10 towards the entertainment. So we had $10. So now this is all set. And then we have 40. So if we add 70 plus 40, 40 is 110. So now we're actually at 110 here. So everything I had saved for the bachelorette party will cover those things. Obviously we're good with that. So now we have $69 we need to cover here. Nothing we need to cover here because this is 100. So 63 minus 50 is $13 plus the $69 up here plus what is that $70? So we need to make up $152 somehow. So I already deposited this back into my bank, but I did use $17 from my grocery money that week. I used $20 from my alcohol budget that week. Let's put that over here. We have groceries we used 17 we have alcohol we used 20 we use the 40 dollars worth of fun 
And I think that was it. So now we just have $75 that we need to make up somehow. So what I'm going to start by doing is taking a little bit of money out of my friend's wedding envelope um, from one of her wedding envelopes. So I'm going to take it from her wedding gift fund that I had fully funded with $50. And I'm gonna put that towards the bachelorette party. So we'll do wedding gift. So I'll just refund this later. I did definitely have time to refund it before their wedding now that it's not till October. So what's today? It's the 16th. So I'm gonna say two batch minus 50 brings us back to zero. So we'll have to restart that one. And then I just need $25 to make up the last bit and since some of it was just like for my own doing, I'm going to take some of it out of my Kristen envelope. So we're going to take 10, 15, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, it's all of it. Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to just do it. So then we'll have $25 from my Kristen envelope. Today is the 19th, not the 16th. I don't know what I'm doing. So now Kristen is at zero, which is fine. That's why it's there. So now let's just see that we have 452. I have a feeling I did some math wrong in there. So we'll just see about that. So we have 100, 200, 220, 40, 60, 80, 300, 310, 320, 330, 331, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 335 plus the $40 I had already paid plus the 17 for groceries, the 20 for alcohol, and the 40 for fun. So that's 452. So that's right. I did do that right. Okay. So now I'm going to see all the fake money that I pulled from my friend's wedding envelope because that's how much I need to subtract from her um, tracker, which I need a new one. So it's the 19th. Um, we'll say batch party. And we are subtracting out 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 10, 310. So we had 665 minus 310. So we have 355 in there now. Yep. So we can officially retire the bachelorette party because it's over. Um, we don't need to include that in here anymore. And then I will take all of this fake money is in my short-term savings account. So I will be transferring that into my checking account and pay off my credit card. And then I'll deposit this real money into my checking account and also use that to pay off my credit card where I made all my purchases. And then I'll be all zeroed out from this trip. I paid for it all in cash and I put it obviously on my credit card, but I'm paying it off before it accrues interest. So that is how I budgeted out for this bachelorette party. Um, I'm really excited that I got to share this with y'all and that I met my goal of paying for it in cash. Obviously, I overspent a little bit, but I think I just haven't fi figured out my rhythm for budgeting for vacations, but I'm starting to get an idea of what that actually looks like for me. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. Let me know down below if you did. It's just a quick little fun video and I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye.